Okay. <clears throat> if you're a little squeamish, skip over this. Just want to show you the scars. There's three incisions. That's the first one. They made one by the belly button. You might not able be able to see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then there's a larger one here where they had to go in further to take the left ovary out. <clears throat> that one is bleeding a little bit, so I have gauze over it, but I did take a semi-blurry picture of it. Because, <laughs> um can't bend over to see them so I'm like let me use the camera um I was sitting up because I had um breakfast um my appetite's okay um I was a little bit hungrier yesterday since I had went like maybe 18 hours without eating um <clears throat> but i didn't go too crazy i had soup crackers at home then i had a tuna sandwich at the hospital I had a bunch of water one of those little tiny cups of apple juice but i didn't finish it because it felt acidic to my throat um then I had like a Jewish kind of sweet breadstick kind of thing. Um, it's mostly the texture of like a cracker, except it's braided. I like, I think, three of those. Um, oh, and then I had um, one of the Eat Clean Bro meals. Well, half of a meal it was like a breakfast sandwich with um turkey sausage and egg um yeah i had given my mother the other sandwich because it came with two she had that for breakfast while she was waiting for me um yeah and i was good with that today i had um I was in the mood for pancakes and wanted something soft anyway. So I ordered some pancakes and some eggs. Um, well, it came with eggs. <clears throat> then I had um, oat milk, latte, um, and that's it so far. I think the only other thing I'm going to eat is some fruit and then another eat clean bro meal. I'm going to have the simpler one. I have one that has cauliflower and ground turkey. So I'm going to have that. But I'm going to wait till my mother comes later on in the afternoon um, so that she could bend in the back to get them to get it because I put her meals in the front for work um, oh and I could probably have a yogurt because I have about three yogurts I need to eat um, I had originally bought them for smoothies but unless somebody is home I can't really make a smoothie because I'd need to lift the blender <laughs> Because it's up high. Um, so yeah, that's my food plan for today. Yogurt, fruit, and then cauliflower rice with ground turkey. That should be enough to eat today. Um, then I have crackers by my bed in case. Thankfully, I don't feel any nausea because I hate when that happens. Um, 
but yeah, I'm just really weak. I'm gonna use this time to catch up on YouTube videos and read. Then at night, listen to music. More so like sleep hypnosis kind of music. And just relax for the next two weeks. Um, which is hard for me. <laughs> I still gotta do the balancing of the checkbooks because that's what I do here. So how that's gonna work out tomorrow, I don't know. Um, I'm happy that Tuesday I went grocery shopping, that way I have fruit to nibble on. Um, yeah. I don't really have any emotions right now I'm pretty numb um, also grateful I've had a couple of family members check in then um, I checked in with my sister friends <clears throat> to let them know it was okay um, that's it. I mean, I wish I had company, but what can you do? But not my mother. Like, she sends my anxiety through the roof. Like, she literally sit there and just stare at me like something's about to happen she was driving the people in the hospital crazy because she must have tried calling them multiple times and <laughs> oh laughing hurts <laughs> and then her phone wasn't working because she has one of those flip phones so even though it's 5g it wasn't getting reception so she was going out her mind. Um, yeah. But yeah, shout out to my aunt who took me there and back. And my cousin who checked in with everybody else to make sure I was good when she wasn't able to get me. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I'm grateful. Um, the hospital messed up once again. They tried to or didn't. I don't know what the hell they did. They were supposed to send my pain meds to the pharmacy. And um, the pharmacy says they didn't get any meds yesterday. So I had to call the only contact I have. Um, I think which is a nurse in the gynecological division so she's gonna email my operating doctor because I guess she's on call or whatever the case may be I don't know something is thoroughly wrong with that damn place I can't even begin to tell you how many doctors and nurses I saw yesterday. <laughs> no wonder they can't keep track of anything. And I mean, I know they have like a care team because, you know, to make sure there's all hands on deck. That wasn't the part that, well, it bothered me because I wasn't going to remember all their names. So that bothered me personally. Um, but what was annoying and like, <sighs> I feel like part of me disassociated yesterday because that's the only way I was going to keep my anxiety level down. But yeah, just being asked the same questions over and over again. It's like, I see you inputting it into some database on the computer. Like, can it be referenced back? Like, are you trying to 
catch me saying something that I didn't see before. I, I, I don't know how that works. But okay. <laughs> Here's the same answer I gave another nurse 10 minutes ago. Um, but yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Some nurses were kinder than others. I have, where is it? I didn't get to clean off the marks yet, but one of the nurses basically ripped off the EKG thing without even being gentle. So, I don't know if that's residue or actual bruise. <clears throat> I'll try to shower tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if you look at my TikTok, that's the same person that I referenced in regards to the wheelchair. Um, and when it was time to try to urinate in a pan or whatever, <clears throat> they didn't really take any real care. But when she gave me the pad, I was like, well, here's the pad. Um, lady, how am I supposed to reach down there? But I figured it out. Um, I think through all that, <clears throat> one of my stitches might be a little open that might be why it's bleeding i'm not sure it doesn't feel off it's just bleeding um a little bit not like profusely um but yes yeah, some were way better than others <clears throat> i also mentioned in that tiktok the two that stood out to me anyway the actual process um, aside from that long ass paperwork. So let's see, I got there about 10. Appointment was at 10.30. I didn't go into the operating section probably till about 12, I think. Um, when I was actually in the surgery room, I'm not sure. Um... <clears throat> So first they send you to the recovery section where you fill out all the paperwork, etc. Of course you return back to the recovery section after surgery, but that's where they fill out the paperwork. Um and then I guess since I'm fat, <clears throat> I got out of the bed. They told me since I could walk, I could get on the surgery table myself. Um, thankfully, I wasn't in the type of intense pain I've been in last year. So getting on the bed was fine, aside from my back. Um, then the operating nurse was kind of corny. With what island do you want to go to? I guess trying to ease everything, but... It was not my sense of humor. Um, then they do the oxygen mask because they want to fill your lungs with oxygen. And <clears throat> that's really the last thing I remember, breathing in a lot of oxygen. Then I guess after that, they um, put the general anesthesia. I don't know where that goes. I don't know if it goes in the IV or if it goes through the mask. I'm not sure. Um... It was really weird seeing like the IV needle in my arm because like I don't know if you could see that bruise it really stretches out your skin there and your hand it, it was weird to see <laughs> um, but anyway so the last thing I remember is breathing in the oxygen and the doctor talking about Aruba or some shit <laughs> and um then when I woke up I was back in the recovery room and it was about 6 30 in the evening um I just like slowly opened my eyes and was up and then they told me where I was um 
Yeah, so anything that happened in the room could have been whatever. <laughs> Don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, once, um, I was up, they told me that the cyst basically engulfed most of the left ovary. So she said there was about maybe this much that it didn't like overtake. So <clears throat> that's why there's the bigger incision where I have the gauze at because they had to take out the ovary. Um, which I told y'all a couple of months ago that was a possibility. Remember when I had that rude ass doctor the first time, the African lady, who said it like it was some casual type of shit. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, like I said, after that, a lot of things became a do-it-yourself kind of mission, because, I don't know, fat people and black people don't get any grace when it comes to healthcare, because I'm just so strong, right? <laughs> whatever um yeah so i wasn't out of breath coming upstairs or anything but i did have to take my time and i'm just really trying to take my time with myself today um so yeah i'm gonna try to watch a couple of things on my phone i'm not gonna try to lift my laptop or anything um yeah So, I just wanted to give you all the update for those of you who are curious and wanted to know. Also, um, they had like a cuff on both of my legs that did like a squeezy thing for a compression to make sure I didn't get any blood clots or anything. Um, yeah, and I didn't stay overnight. Also, um, it was good that I brought pads. I know they, they gave me one there. Um, well, one lady was kind enough to put on the first one for me. They're very smart. Um, the second do-it-yourself lady just gave it to me because I need to change it, of course, um, after trying to pee because you need to be able to pee before you can leave. Um... But yeah, to go home, I had one that was pure cotton out of my own stash, which is always wonderful. <laughs> um, there was also some drainage, because when I got up, I saw a whole bunch of like yellow and red type of fluid. Gross. <laughs> That was shocking. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I, can't I can't laugh. Um, try to see if I remember anything else. It was hard to find a vein, as per usual. <laughs> um. Mm, yeah, I think that's it. If I remember anything else, I can update you all another day. But I think that was my whole experience. <clears throat> they gave me a to-go packet as far as directions or whatever. Um... Funny enough, half of that packet, when I was looking it over, looks like stuff they were supposed to give me before I even had surgery. Because um, it's talking about like prep work and things like you should make sure you do before, you know, you've undergone your procedure. Um like you know prepping the house and making sure this is available I'm like 
I knew something was freaking missing as far as information. Luckily, as you saw, um, from two grocery hauls, one from, I think, a month and a half back, where I got all my fluids, I still have most of those. One of the packs of coconut water, I did end up drinking off already because it was expiring. Um, so I still have the other one. Then in the grocery haul I showed you a couple of days ago, you saw I got protein shakes and I always drink water, so I have water. Um, and I forgot to show you all the Eat Clean Bro meals. But um, yeah, I ordered from a healthy meal prep service. So I have maybe four or five dinners. Um, because when we were doing the budgeting yesterday, I did spend way too much with Grubhub. Um, especially dinner food. Breakfast food's kind of more affordable. <clears throat> but dinner food, especially if you're getting, like, on the healthier side. Or you want to add a side of veg and, you know, get a nice drink or whatever. That, that comes with too much money. So, um... Yeah, I had a coupon and stuff, so I spent like 90 and um, I think it's five meals for me, and then I got my mother <clears throat> enough meals to last through this week, so I know her extra worrying ass won't eat, so, <laughs> sorry, Kayla, um, <laughs> she'll have lunch to take with her, she can eat it when she comes back home her choice but I got her some stuff I'm <clears throat> pretty sure she'd like um yeah I'm gonna stick to fruit as a snack this week and um yeah I think I've talked enough hopefully I remembered mostly everything <laughs> they did stick a tube down my throat while I was in sleepy time so the roof of my mouth is sore and like down here but down here is not as sore as it was yesterday so that's why i'm able to talk to y'all but i could feel a lot of soreness in the roof of my mouth um so the um i can't get it right now but i have the menthol cough drops for the throat um i think i showed you all <clears throat> a type of it when I did like the surgery prep so those have come in handy I took two of those last night um for now I'm taking Tylenol and I did take one of the gas X um a couple of hours ago they said don't exceed four of them a day so probably Around three or so, I'll take another one <clears throat> just to reduce the discomfort. <sighs> okay, thanks for watching. See y'all later.